Today I fucked up by getting so drunk that I injured my penis and got a girlfriend. Obligatory this happened 19 months ago, more precisely on June 2019. I used to work on a big financial institution and every 6 months some of the employees used to organize a very big party and was meant to drink your problems away, drink to make new friends, drink with your boss and most importantly drink to try hook up with that person you were flirting, or all of the above, with for the last month on the company chat. This was the event of the semester, and everybody that didn't have kids at home would be there. Important to highlight that this happens on Thursday night, and everybody had to work next morning. I was in the category of people that was just there to drink a lot, but there was one girl that I had been flirting with for a while, but I never thought I had a real chance, just though we were being friendly and playful. A few hours go by and see this girl with two bottles of tequila in her hands just giving shots to everybody, and it finally was my turn to drink some. I drank without hesitation of course, but some of my friends were showing some resistance. This girl and I made a deal that we both would drink one shot for each person that drinks one too. Huge mistake, 20 minutes later we were as drunk as on can be. Blackout here. Next thing I know I'm outside making out with this girl, and my friends keep trying to get my attention saying they are going to Uber home and asking if I coming too, after party. I signal, thumbs up, with my hand and they share the Uber fee with me but I never entered the car because I was still making out with the girl. A few minutes go by she asks if I want to go to her place with some other friends. I say her lies. We get there with two other couples that quickly found a room, and I made the huge mistake to lay down in her bed while she went for water or something. 30s after that I'm puking on the floor, and she comes back to the sight of me laughing while letting all we drank out. She is nice about it and tells me to go shower while she cleans the room. She then proceeds to check on me in the shower just to find me sleeping standing up in the shower. She is laughing her ass off and saves me from drowning in the shower. While I was getting dry I was angry because I didn't want to put clothes on and ran out of the bathroom naked. When she finally made me calm down we went to sleep, I was still naked. Blackout here. Wake up Friday morning feeling like shit, not knowing where I am or why I am naked. She wakes up to get ready for work. I had a day off strategically on this day just to hang over on my own. While we are getting dressed she notices a lot of blood in the sheets. No clue where in came from. We look at each other for wounds or something but there's nothing. We leave the room and her roommate is giving me a bad look and later I find out it's because her dog ate some of my puke. Anyways, I go with her to work, because my place is very close to work so we leave in the same subway station, we say goodbye and I head home. On the way home I start feeling uncomfortable and something is hurting down there. Oh no. Could this be where the blood came from? I rush home and go pee. When I start peeing I feel the burn of all that processed tequila coming out boiling my dick. I say WTF, when I look down there a huge cut from the tip of my dick to the middle. To this day I have no idea how. Don't ask me for details, it's lost in my mind. I start panicking and sent a picture to my friend who is a doctor and she laughs a lot and tells me it's going to be fine, but would take a while to heal. I told the girl from the party about it and said I'd pay for the dry cleaning because it was my dick blood, she laughs even more and says it's okay. On the bright side we started dating for real and took 3 months before we had sex for the first time, and we are together until this day. My dick has healed fine and there is no scar or loss of sensitivity if you were wondering that, took almost a week to not feel pain while peeing. This was the worst part. Edit, now when somebody asks how we met each other we just say from work and sudden war flashbacks from this day comes to mind. Too long didn't read, I got drunk, went home with a girl from my work, puked on her floor, cut my penis god knows how, she finds it funny and we start dating for real. I cut the tip on a zipper from paintball pants. I can tell you with 100% certainty you should be happy you don't remember the pain. Damn indeed. Glad I was drunk and blackout. But also, if I wasn't drunk I don't think I would have cut my penis. Honestly all things considered she seems like a cool girl. Saved you from drowning, cleans your disgusting puke, laughs at you making a fool of yourself, etc. I'm happy for you op banks. She sure is keeper. The real How I Met Your Mother rom-com we all needed. 
Are the good Olay cut your future BFS dick tip so he has to wait months to sleep with me trick lol good story surprised somebody would want to date you after that clusterfuck of events. Hey, she's already seen him at his worst, smiley face. A small price to pay, real small. Today I fucked up by getting a covid antibody test. Posting on my boyfriend's account since I don't use reddit much. Recently, my status started offering $25 antibody tests to see if you have the antibodies for covid, meaning that you caught it in the past, generally 6 months. I thought it'd be a great idea, especially since I was sick in November with covid like symptoms. Took two covid tests to see if I had it, but both came up negative. As someone in the medical field. I understand that it would be possible, but unlikely, that these were both false negatives, so I still wanted to test it out. After I got tested, it turns out I actually do have the covid antibodies, which I believed must have been from November. I told my boyfriend that he should get the test as well to find out, and that I'd pay for it. He then reminded me that I had just received my vaccine for covid early this month so of course I'd have covid antibodies. Too long didn't read, today I fucked up by paying for a $25 covid antibody test just weeks after getting the covid vaccine. Edit, I'm glad this light hearted post made so many of you smile, but I want you all to check out the comments. Apparently, especially depending on the antibody test, the vaccine wouldn't trigger the antibody test. Essentially, she could very well have had covid and have the antibodies from it. I'll be taking it soon to see and we'll be doing more research into the test. To answer some common questions, 1. She received the Pfizer vaccine, the second shot is within the next week I believe. 2. She works as a second tech for outpatient physical therapy. That's how she was able to receive the vaccine so early. Plus that's why neither of us fully understood how the antibody tests work. 3. We didn't mean to spread any misinformation, so I want to say thank you to everyone in the comments who are helping to fix that. Exclamation mark. Do moment. Smiley face. Ha. A couple of my friends have donated blood recently because the local Red Cross is offering free antibody testing for donations. I hate needles and have never donated but was considering it. But I'm due for my second shot in a week. Of course I'd have antibodies. Hi, I am a medical laboratory scientist, and I do things like these antibody tests as my career. Depending on exactly which antibody test was performed, it was probably not a false positive caused by the vaccine. The antibodies stimulated by the vaccine are to the spike proteins of the COVID-19 virus, and the current antibody tests detect antibodies to other parts of the virus, as well as to the spike proteins. So you definitely might have had COVID-19. Definitely might have had. Hey, now you know it worked. Today I fucked up by having sex with my boyfriend when I was nauseous. This all just happened. So I, 23F, recently moved in with my boyfriend, 26M. Between work, school, and getting adjusted I've been super tired. My boyfriend and I work completely opposite work schedules. He works early mornings, I work evenings. So needless to say our sex life has been non-existent. He mentioned it today and I thought it would be nice to end out celibacy. So as we were getting ready for bed I rolled over and kissed him. Skip forward and we were doing the do. Now let me preface this by I feel nauseous 24-7 due to underlying conditions. I rarely ever actually throw up. So I'm feeling nauseous but I'm like it's normal. Well we're in doggy style and I just start projectile vomiting all over the bed. Took my boyfriend a moment to realize that I was throwing up and he jumped up and grabbed the towel. He just stood there and stared at me. He disappeared into the bathroom for 15 minutes while I cleaned up, completely mortified. We're now in bed not saying a word. 
he trying to go to sleep for work. I'm super embarrassed and am looking forward to not having to face this until later on tomorrow when I can process it further lol. Too long didn't read, I ignored my nauseas, ending up vomiting all over the bed during sex and potentially traumatizing my partner. Edit, first thank you guys so much. I'm glad my horrific experience has awarded me my first awards and most upvoted post lol. I just want to state that my boyfriend and I have been together for 7 years. We had been long distance for a while. All of these health problems started while I was gone. Before that neither of us got sick so we haven't seen this side of each other yet. Better late than never right lol. I've never asked him how he feels about throw up but he looked dramatized. He's normally a very caring person I think I caught him by surprise. We'll probably talk about it and laugh later but both of us are people who need time to process before speaking and I will allow him his time. I don't get how two people in a relationship could be embarrassed by an obvious accident. I would just laugh about it and move on. Yeah I think my boyfriend would clean me up and try to help me feel better rather than just disappear lol. He's the very concerned type when I'm sick, he even offered to hold my hand while I was pooping once because I had C diff and was in horrible pain. I took him up on it too. It happens, he was just about to projectile vomit from his penis, you just beat him to it. Don't worry about it girl. It'll pass, but never be forgotten. I don't know why this made me laugh so hard. FYI he was finishing himself off in the bathroom when he disappeared for 15 minutes lol. Seriously I wouldn't worry about it. He discovered a new fetish. Oh wow it is traumatic. I honestly had the same thing happen. Not exactly the same position or situation. So, I just want to say. I'm sorry that happened to you. You will find out tomorrow how much he loves you. He will forget about it sooner than you think. If you are together for a long time, you will be laughing about it together.